guys, it's your girl Miss Benjamin Buttons 01. I am coming to you today with the strawberry letter. Let's get it, honey. This is your girl, Ms. Benjamin Buttons 01. I'm coming to you today with not my take on the strawberry letter. Unfortunately, they had an episode and I did listen. And then I'll try to, um, you know, leave it down in the description box if I can. It just wasn't something that I wanted to, you know, discuss. It just, hmm. I mean, I could do a video on it, but I just, it just didn't have no ha ha he he, you know, nothing. It was a little serious for me, and it was a little uh, personal as well. So, to avoid having to, you know, I ain't ready to do all that, you know, exposing and all that good stuff as of yet. I haven't learned you guys that well yet. So, I guess I'm gonna do a little venting. I'm, I'm, I've been in, I'm going to say customer service over 20 some odd years because I spent 15 years at a fast food restaurant, very popular fast food restaurant, but anyway, yeah, 15 years there and I've been at my current job six years. I have several pet peeves when it comes to being Dealing with the public, dealing with the consumer. And I'm trying to learn how to not be that worker because I've been on the other side as well as being behind the counter. But I swear to God, I, I mean, I could go on for days and days and days because it just, it's so many things that irk me about. Customer service, be it fast food, retail, it's just so much, brother, tell them I'm, it's just so much stuff that hurt me about customer service, like really, really, from the customer to the worker to the management to the corporate, I mean, it's just like so much stuff, I'm just like, how, why, is it, why is it so difficult to just let everything just flow smoothly just you know everything be cohesive why is it so damn difficult we all work it and put usually at these minimum wage jobs why do we have to be so ignorant is the word i'm going to use ignorant now when i say we i mean like i said customers management co-workers I, just why? Just why? I mean, y'all ask the, the, the customers ask the stupid, like the, the most hated question. I hate this question, and it only gets I only get asked this now that I work in retail. The number one question. I don't know. Maybe other people that work in retail don't understand. Excuse me, do you work here? Started telling people like another lady, another co-worker of mine. She's an older lady. She said, no, I'm just here playing in their boxes. Looking for stuff in their boxes. And I don't know if people took her seriously or not. Because they just looked so sharp when she said it. Hell, so did I. But why do y'all ask? I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a khaki and blue it's a khaki and blue thing. You know, it can be a uniform for school. But if you turn around and see a lady that looks my age, oh, well, I could be a teacher. I, I can understand that. But a lot of times, you see me dead with my head down into a box. My head is in a damn box. Or I have the merchandise and I'm putting it on the shelf or, or up above the shelf. I mean, y'all ask, excuse me, do you work here? I just like to go around putting this stuff on the shelves for them. I have nothing else better to do it myself. I just start doing this when I do that. 
Mm-hmm. Not that I'm depressed or upset about being in my job. Well, you just like I am, but you know, not that I am, but I just, you know. Another thing that just pisses me off with customer service. The workers. Where do I begin? I'm trying to think, should I start with the managers? Especially in retail. I mean, especially where I work. I'm so done with this damn job, but I want to help my husband so me and my husband can work, pay bills together. That's that's the thing. But I'm so sick of that job. And it's not even a hard, it's not a hard job. It is not a hard job. But it's a very disrespectful job. Though. Very disrespectful. This is like the whole, uh, just get it done. It's like, it's, it, they treat the job where I work at as a Nike commercial. Just do it. That's the motto, just do it. And I know I shouldn't be stealing Nike's motto, but I'm sorry. That's the motto of the place where I work at. It is just do it. You can come in in the morning. No managers on the floor. Come in at 7. No manager on the floor. 8 o'clock. No manager on the floor. 9 o'clock. No manager on the floor. 10 o'clock. Maybe a manager on the floor. And I know it don't take no whole damn three, two, three hours to do no damn um paperwork. Count no registers. Three, two and a half, three hours? Then, um, when they do come on the floor, the first thing they ask you is, what you doing? My response is always, I'm working. What you want me to do? I mean, because I'm on your floor. You sitting in front of the computer where I know you have a little screen where you can see all the cameras and you can zoom in and see what everybody doing. You can see who all here. Because I've been, I've been approached lately with this. Oh my God, I didn't even know you was here. We mocked you absent. First of all, you can't mock me absent because I clocked in. How the hell you gonna mock me? This is not school. Mock me absent. I'm still on the clock. I don't even know what you did. Then some foolishness about something. When you come in, how about you find a manager and let them know you're here? So you can tell me what I'm to do. To, you can tell me to do what I'm already doing, which is work. I already know what my assignment is for the day. So why do I have to check in? I, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's something. I don't know. I've worked at this job six years, and I've never had to check in. It irks my spirit. Then they do this thing, management. Man. How y'all gonna work together? But y'all don't talk about work together. Like, if the manager that comes in at 7 already knows what's going on, why is the manager that comes in at 1 clueless as hell? But I seen you walk past me, go straight to the stop room where the other manager is sitting. Been sitting there for hours, mind you. Been sitting. And y'all don't, you don't say, hey, such and such, how you doing? What's the team doing today? Oh, I got so-and-so over here. And I got this person in this department. I got him back here doing trash. I got, you don't do that. Y'all get on the floor and start talking about who working. And the things, the, the idioticies of what's going on. And the stupid stuff that you see people in that does work in there do. But then when stuff don't get done, like y'all want it done, then here y'all go with the whole... What did you do? What was y'all doing all day? I don't know. What the hell was we doing all day? You been here just like I've been here, and she been here just like we all been here. But none of y'all sat down and talked about the damn day, the agenda for the day. Crime happens every day. But when that big man come in, now let's be clear. Y'all ignorant and dumbfounded and baffled until the man, the man that sits upstairs all day, that comes there once a week just to sit and annoy everybody, he comes there. That's when y'all are management. You come in, you call the man, you call the store manager, or the store manager call you, and then y'all, well, this is what we gonna do today. This is what we gonna do, and make sure you're doing this. Make sure you're doing. This. No, you do that every damn day. Ain't no, we doing it. Um. Six days out of the week. 
And if he call, we just tell him that's what we're doing. And then we clear up, the, we clear up one side of the stock room, take a picture, and then switch everything to the other side. And then say, no, y'all do the most. When they uncertain here, the virus is back. And it's just the, 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 the way they train people is so idiotic. It's just like so. Like I said, <laughs> when I work out, the motto is technically just do it. It's not do it right, it's just do it. That means when you unload that truck, just put it on the floor. Not put it on the floor right. I call to get everything. Just put it. On the floor, as long as it's on the floor, it's good. You can put uh, housewares in uh, lawn and garden for all they care. As long as you got it on the floor, don't price it. Don't don't check price. None of that. Don't do none of that. And then they can walk around and see. I've been. I work in hard lines. For anybody that's a customer service person, they already know this one. I work in hard lines. That's like uh, housewares, bed and bath, uh, HBA, uh, lawn and garden, automotive, sporting goods, pets, all that stuff. That's the side where I work at. I don't work in apparel. I don't do nothing with apparel. So I work over there. And I'm, I'm the only one that's been there as long as I have. Everybody else has either quit or got fired. I've been there six years. I came in as a temp on a, a remodel. And lo and behold, the manager that was there, she was there for 21 years. That one store, she ran that one store, store manager for 21 years. It took the district manager less than six months to make her quit. And let's be clear, he is a... Because me and him done did this several times. Heads butted several times. And what I tell him quick is I look. I, I'm not, no, I'm not here for that. I'm not. I'm going to do my job and I'm going to go home. All that other stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm just. And when I'm back to with the, the just do it thing or don't do it right, just do it. Because see, I, I'm in charge of, um, you know, changing prices, planograms and things of that nature. That's what you just go around and make sure the prices are correct. And make sure everything is in the right area when they're pricing, when they're putting the freight out, all the prices are in the correct spot. That's what I do. Y'all sit there and y'all don't, they, they don't, y'all, they don't check behind the workers to make sure when they put this freight out, that it's in the right spot. That this is, it's supposed to be like, if it's supposed to, if it's on the shelf and it says only six of them can go there, they just let them just, just put it on the shelf. Just let, so it's like, it says six, but they got like 50 on the shelf. But then they got it in the spaces where everything else is supposed to go. So it's like six Dove soaps. You got Dove soap all the way across the shelf. And it's like Dove soap should be next to the Dove. And then uh, Irish Spring. But you got all the Dove soap. So now when it's time for you to put the Dove in the Irish Spring, there's no room. When it's just so simple. If y'all just like, they just learn how to read the module label. The little label, the price label that's on the shelf, just learn how to read it. Learn how to, and I get it, it's not easy. You gotta learn how to read the SKU, the PUK, the number of faces, the department. They don't even know what the damn department is in this job. And the thing is that I've been there six years, so now they think, well, since you've been here six years, you should be able to run, nope, nope. I don't want to run nothing but me. And the reason I don't, because I have high blood pressure, I have depression, anxiety, and panic disorder. I'm telling you, I will snatch the shirt the hell off and walk the hell out in my bra and my britches. Because I just don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. I don't understand. I mean, just like... And then they, they're, so dis, they're just so disrespectful. Uh, Y'all need to get your wife done. And anybody got time for all this? And... Uh, why y'all? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? If you tell that white man, if y'all start telling that white, excuse me, if y'all start telling that man them lies that all this stuff is being done, then y'all will have to worry about correcting them lies when it's time to, for that man to see what y'all said was done was done. If you do it all the through the set, do the right thing all the time, you won't have to do the wrong thing. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? And I just, why? I'm just ranting because I'm just really fed up with the whole, the whole, whole customer service. And the customers, they're just so irritating. And they catch attitudes. I'm just like, bro, we didn't ask you to come in here. My check's still going to get made if you don't come in here shopping or not. 
Now they add because they had to say, oh, you know how much this is, you know how much this is, you know how much this is. I have no idea. That's my new mind. That's my new line. When they ask me, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea because I really don't. It's like they think I walk around knowing every damn thing. I don't know every damn thing. Great, I've been here. To I don't know why I cut off. I've been there longer than the goddamn... Oh, Lord, I've been there longer than all the managers. I don't want no man. I don't want a position. I don't. Because... I just look. Just don't want Because I swear, I just don't have... The, don't have the patience to deal with these damn people. And for the life of me, I'm sorry because I know I am 49, but I'm going to say this, and, and people can feel how the hell they want to feel. Y'all, get your grandparents. Get your grandparents. Get your goddamn grandparents. Because then with this, because I'm, I'm old, I'm entitled. That's just like with these young people. I'm young, I'm, 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 because I'm entitled. No, you're not entitled. Because you old. I'm going to respect you. My mother taught me respect was earned. It's not given. Y'all so disrespectful. Oh, I don't want to wait in this line. I've been here all day. Um, Put the buggy down and walk out the door. I'm not a cashier. See, mm -mm. y'all don't never know the price of nothing. Y'all don't never have nothing when I come here. Then stop coming. Just because you don't come no means somebody else ain't going to come and just have a wonderful experience. Matter of fact, your muggy, muggy, nasty attitude ass might not need to be here anyway. You might be the one bringing the store down. Goodbye. And then y'all so nasty. Hold on. I am really about to get lit. Y'all are so nasty. Y'all, these people will come in the bathroom and I don't know how they're doing this. I swear, but I think about if ever ran across the person that did this and I was on the ship, I'd have got fired because I'd have lit their ass the fuck up. You got poop. I'm, I'm gonna say poop, but we grown here. And they got shit all over everywhere. I, I get it. Sometimes your butt does explode. I get it. And you just, bleh. okay, fine. But it's on the opposite wall. Your butt is back this way. It's on the opposite wall. It's to the left, right of you. It's to the left of you. How? How? It's all on the floor. How? Then we'll tell you some shit like the bathroom is out of order. Do you know these nasty bastards will still go in the bathroom and still use the bathroom? What kind of motherfucker? Y'all nasty. Some of them. Oof. Exams, frames, lenses, and I don't contacts. know. I just. Hearing, including hearing aids and batteries. I don't know. Prescription drug coverage, all at no additional cost. It is not a hard job. It's not. This is to the point where I just am just tired. 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 Absolutely no obligation to enroll. Call the Go Because there is no way people are this way. That's There's no way. People are this way. There's no way. And I could go on and 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 on about retail, um, fast food, this customer service in general. I could go on and on and on because I have seen some things. But, yeah. This should, I just want to rant a little bit, y'all. This your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons 01. I'm out. Oh, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe.